Do you suffer from cold sores? In this video, I will explain you the causes and its treatments. Hello, I'm Dr. Simon Bardiñas. Welcome to Dentalk. Herpes virus can produce a viral infection that affects a large percentage of the population. In this video, we'll talk about the causes and treatment of this type of condition. Herpes on the lip, known colloquially as cold sore, is an infection usually caused by the herpes simplex virus type 1. Sometimes it's caused by the type 2, although this is usually more related to genital lesions. Herpes virus is extremely contagious and is transmitted through direct contact with active ulcerative lesions through secretions such as saliva. Kissing, sharing, kitchenware, clothing or practicing oral sex with an infected person can cause transmission. The average incubation period is usually 7 days. Once an initial contact has been made, the genetic material of the virus travels through the nerve endings of the skin and mucosa until it reaches the trigeminal nerve ganglion, where it is settled. From there, it can be reactivated due to various stimuli, such as fever, lower defenses, infections, hormonal changes, stress, etc., causing recurrent local infections. There are different types of herpes. Occurs the first time the virus comes into contact with the body. It usually occurs in children and is the leading cause of stomatitis in young children. It occurs in patients who have previously suffered from a herpetic infection. It usually appears at the junction of the lip with the skin. More than 60% of the adult population had suffered a herpes outbreak in their lifetime occurs in patients who have previously suffered from a herpetic infection. Small bucket-shaped blisters usually appear on the palate and gums area. Cold sores affect both adults and children, but its symptoms may be slightly different if it's a first infection or a recurrent herpes. Adults often suffer from recurrent cold sores, and once an episode has occurred, the virus remains inactive in nerve cells and can appear as another cold sore in the same place as before. These outbreaks are usually related with these symptoms. Herpes infection begins with the previous symptoms of itching and tingling sensation very localized on the edge of the lips. After a couple of days, small yellowish blisters appear that usually develop along the lips or in nearby areas such as the cheeks and nose. In some cases, they can manifest inside the mouth and in the form of painful ulcers in the palate or gums that usually heal in 8 to 10 days. The blisters generated in the previous stage dry out and break, producing shallow open sores that present discharge and form a scab. These scabs disappear within 8-15 days. In some cases, herpes spreads to the inside of the mouth. The appearance of symptoms consists of patchy vesicles similar to those of cold sores, which are located mainly on the palate and gums. These vesicles ulcerate very quickly, causing inflammation and pain. They usually heal without a scar within 8 to 10 days. If it's a first infection with herpes virus 1, in addition to the symptoms mentioned above, it can also cause fever, sore gums, sore throat, headache, muscle aches, or swollen leaf nodes. In children, the first contact and infection with the herpes virus is usually asymptomatic, although it's also possible that it causes herpetic gingivostomatitis, which is the most common cause of stomatitis in children aged 1 to 3 years. This condition usually causes a high fever, general malaise, headache, decreased appetite, and a sore throat, so it can be confused with a pharyngitis. After a few days, the gums become inflamed and swollen and cause great pain when swallowing. A couple of days later, multiple blisters appear anywhere in the mouth. Being a virus that is transmitted by contact, it's important to avoid direct contact with infected people when there are clinical manifestations of blisters and vesicles. Here are some related recommendations. Do not kiss anyone with this type of injury. 
do not share household items or towels or other daily cleaning textiles with people affected by the herpes virus. Use prophylactics during sexual practice with affected people. Wash your hands, especially frequently, if you are infected or live with a person with cold sores. If you have already been infected by the herpes virus, to avoid recurrence, it's also advisable to reduce stress, sleep a sufficient number of hours a day, maintain a good diet, and apply sunscreen on the lips and moisturizing balm. The lesions caused by this virus usually resolve on their own in one or two weeks, although this time can sometimes even double. During this time, the treatment to follow is usually this one. If it's detected early, it can be treated with antiviral drugs to reduce symptoms. Once manifested, the treatment is usually symptomatic, with protective gels and anesthetics, although the application of local cold can also help to relieve discomfort. In any case, it's recommended not to touch the lesions to avoid infecting the affected area, hinder healing or spread the virus to other parts of the body. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can leave all your doubts in the comments of the videos. Thank you.